in the favor from earlier in the game. Mulus is in route to try to provide some defense, but I don't know that it's going to be in time. Uh, as you can see, they're just working. Probe's coming into attack as well. This is going to be close. These three zealots, let's see if they can save it. Oh, so close. 150, and they are uh, just barely going to be able to take that Nexus out. Uh, there's only three zealots left, and not a lot of health on each of them, trying to run away now in the meantime. Uh, Mutalisks brought back, just let me not sure, yeah, it looks like they were brought back and held. Looks like another, yeah, that overlord out here was taken down, putting a, putting a atomic in the red. Uh, we'll see what sort of Mutalisk force we're seeing. Yeah, it looks like a good-sized Mutalisk force outside, uh, out in the meantime for Inrain. So we'll see what Inrain can do with this. Uh, only a single cannon, looks like two cannons in the back, and honestly, the way they're dispersed, I think that could be an easily, uh, easily attacked position. And, and these two overlords... Uh, out in the open could also be attacked. Looks like uh, uh, Mule is going to be able to take out one of Atomic's overlords. I'm sorry, one of Inrain's overlords in the meantime. Pressing up, going to be able to catch this hatchery. Let's see if uh, Inrain can cancel it in time. Probably going to be able to cancel it in time. Only a single Mule is uh, coming back for a defensive attack. Going to have to bring the Mule back to defend against this. Uh, and it looks like he does he does have them here to the south. Uh, Mule is trying to pull back here. And now it looks like an Archon Dark, uh, Dark Templar Zealot push coming in on the front door versus four cannons, five cannons. Uh, some zealots and a single zergling, uh, as well as that overlord here. It looks like that is gonna, that's actually gonna be sent home as well. Next is going down a second time. So now it looks like Starcraft strategy has actually gotten right back in this game. Uh, even though Vodkos ended up losing that Nexus early, uh, he wasn't eliminated, still had 400 minerals, and uh, because of the kind of the defensive posturing, uh, in the meantime, Spore Colony going up in, in the back door, <clears throat> sorry, in the main here of uh, Inrain as well, Mutal is starting to push up and kind of uh, make sure those Mutalists are pinned back and stay away from his friend. Going to be able to pick off an Overlord there, uh, sending out another, and I'm surprised actually that these Overlords over here haven't been picked off by at least something. Looks like a couple, let's see how Supply's doing. Uh, Looks like bull. It looks like uh, in rain's a little bit ahead as far as as far as supply goes. 55 to what was that? 47, 43. Let's check Vodkos and see how the micromanagement's going opposite side. So we have 44 supply uh, versus 80 supply. So it looks like Vodkos is really making the difference here. Uh, way ahead over uh, his his. Protoss uh, opponent Mosk as far as supply goes. Uh, Mutalis being kind of testing the front, dying there. Another Overlord being taken out in the field, uh, as you can see, going into the red again. Uh, and now Mutalis gun, Mutalis action here in the middle. I'm not sure who has few middle, uh, few more Mutalis. It looks like they were being moved across, uh, so a couple being kind of just picked out for free there. Going to engage a smaller Mutalis group as well as reinforcements here. Uh, and yeah, just going to engage with these Archons underneath, and Inray needs to move out before those Archons engage, because otherwise, yeah, those Archons absolutely eat Mutalis alive. Looks like one one of them already has. I'm going to be able to catch an Overlord out in the field too, which is again going to put in rain in the red as well. So uh, a bit of posturing here back and forth, <clears throat> and more cannons going down at the secondary as well as the gas. And now it looks like uh, Vodko starting to move out. He's got. He's going to be able to take out another Overlord to the south here. And uh, pushing up, uh, let's see, some of these mules going to be able to engage these zealots coming up uh, in field. Looks like some Archons, actually. Sorry, I missed this. Archons taking out the secondary of Inrain. Uh, going to be able to take out that hatchery, so ouch, ouch. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like uh, Inrain also in the red. He's going to have to bring these mules as well as these zealots, these Archons. Sorry, I missed that, guys. Pushing on. going to be able to take the, those two Archons down. This third Archon going to be able to take them down. So this attack is going to be repelled, but not before the major cost of a secondary. So really, tit for tat, this is a very close game here, uh, except for Vodkos, who's way ahead in support supply over Mosk, and that could spell the difference here in the long run. Uh, yeah, it looks like only 33 supply uh, for in the meantime, so that those two Archons wiped out in the meantime. Only 33 supply, so I feel like if, uh, basically, if Moss decided to push right into, or I'm sorry, if Inrain decided to push right into Mosk at the meantime, uh, there's nothing that I don't, I, there's just nothing that Mosk could do about it, it would be my guess. Uh, in the meantime, Udal's going to be able to wipe out, but in the meantime, 35 supply versus 37 dead even in, uh, in the meantime, although most of that is in drones, it looks like. Uh, some more mules, actually a couple Scourge being uh, created to kind of fight this off. Overlord's kind of at the women mercy at the moment. Uh, let's see if there's anything else kind of sneaky going on in the meantime. Any additional tech? Looks like weapons, that weapons 2 going up right there. Uh, there's a couple Templar being, uh, and really he's going to need those Templar to kind of even things up. Third expansion going down, mineral only. Looks like weapons 2 has already been upgraded for Vodkos. So uh, somehow, even though he was behind, going to be able to get that weapons 2 upgrade. Looks like weapon 2 also upgraded in the meantime for Inrain. And again, uh, this is very fragile. Uh, this is a very fragile moment. A lot of scorches being produced. Probably going to hunt these Mutalists down. Uh, in the meantime, and he's got to spend those because you can see he's 40 of 35 as far as supply. Going to rush up with some Mutalists, a couple Zerglings, and the Scourge. Uh, probably gonna, Let's see if they catch this Overlord in the meantime. Uh, ouch! Catching a lot of those Mutalists there. 
um, and, and we'll see. This should, yeah, this should be actually be a decent enough with those plus the scourge to take that Mulos force out. Uh, more units gathering up here in the middle as well as well as an OBS now faring out, and we'll see if uh, if if Vodkos decides to go on the attack. Looks like he's going to back off with what's left. Only a single Archon and a couple uh, Zealots in the meantime, <coughs> uh, pushing up to defend as well. Expansion going down for a second time, or I'm sorry, for the first time. I, I didn't see that get taken out before. I don't think it was taken out. I don't think it was ever capped actually. So an expansion going up in the meantime for Mosque. Uh, an another looks like mineral only expansion going up uh, for I'm sorry for Mosque. This is for Atomic. Uh, an expansion also going down once again. Going to be somewhat behind for Inrain. Uh, let's see how Inrain's doing in the meantime. Looks like he's got his uh, doing okay as far as supply count. Still ahead uh, as far as supply count. It looks like only these these uh, mutalisks and a couple of these lings. Uh, uh, doing it for this mine. And really what I worry about here is Vodkos. Vodkos getting playing very defensively, getting a lot of cannons down. He's got a really good sized attack force, and I feel like if he pushed out, uh, he could run one player or the other over at this moment. Uh, another Mutal's force, uh, another Mutal's task force out. A couple Zerglings pushing out, I guess, to do a little bit of scouting here in the meantime. <clears throat> being brought back, being kind of uh, pushed back to, to be picked off here. Uh, a couple, uh, uh, They're going to see that second hatchery going down. Let's see if that triggers anything in the meantime. Opposite side, some Templar, and we'll see if a dropship's being built. Uh, he does have the robotics facility up. I don't see, yeah, dropship is being built, so he's going to go after some some probe hits here. Uh, in the meantime, an overlord just chilling there to deal with the Dark Templar, but no units. It looks like a cannon going to go up uh, to defend against that. Uh, again, another expansion going up for, for Vodko. So Vodko's just going to say, I'm going to win this economically. I'm going to starve you guys out over the long term. I'm going to be able to outsupply you here. Uh, I don't need to be aggressive to win this game. <clears throat> More mules being produced from Inrain. Inrain again at a supply cap. Uh, another another good group. And in, again, it looks like he's up 51 to 35 as far as supply. So out macroing. And that might uh, again, um, as I said, that might actually just be the story throughout this. Is is kind of the uh, is the difference in in kind of supply. Mutals uh, flooding across. Looks like a single Zergling camped out here. It's going to be killed. I was thinking that might be a drone. Uh, that might be killed out. It looks like uh, the issue right here is, is kind of the mains getting a little bit thin, as you can see. And what uh, what uh, Tomic needs to think about is expanding. and needs to expand one more time, uh, really. And if Vodkos, in the meantime, uh, it's putting a hatchery down alongside. Going to be protected by his friend's cannons. Oh, such friendly teamwork there. Some some mutalists heading inbound as well. As uh, looks like a, a a high Templar, a dark Templar, and an Archon. But against these five cannons, we'll see how well they do. And mutalists being pushed up alongside. Uh, probably shouldn't have brought those mutalists in. That dropship going down, only getting the Templar out, getting a, a piecemeal size storm off, and didn't even manage to catch a lot of the mutalists with it. Uh, another bad size storm didn't catch anything. I don't think he got a single kill out of those two size storms, and losing a lot of units there. A huge push now in the middle. Uh, in the meantime, from Vodkos, looks like he's going to take out this 12 o'clock position. He has a lot of forces to do that with. Uh, fortunately, uh, fortunately for. Vermosk is running right into those Templar, managed to kill all three of those observers. Uh, but yeah, just an overwhelming force here in the meantime. It's just uh, not the combined forces here. It's not going to be on. The, they're not going to have enough to fight this off. Nice size storm over the Mutalisks that time uh, from Vodkos onto uh, onto Atomic. Another good size storm as they're engaging in. And yeah, they're going to be able to take this expansion out and probably continue from there. Another third uh, size storm. Just the Mutalisks not able to engage in this fight. Mutalisk force completely wiped out. Uh, this expansion is breached and going down. Uh, looks like yeah, you're seeing some Zerglings trying to push in. A couple Mutalisks trying to push in as well. But with this Archon and just enough, uh, it just looks like there's plenty of Dragoons as well as these Mules to fight this off. And now it uh, looks like we're seeing the, t the well, not the Tide's turn. We're going to see uh, kind of the end game pushing in here. It looks like Starcraft Strategy now going on the offensive. And they're really in a good position to do so. It looks like some more, oh, these three Overlords going to be caught out in the open. Another big hit, going to drop down uh, Atomic down again and supply. Let's see how he's doing. He's at 27 out of 27. Not a good position for being 19, 20 minutes into the game. Uh, and now, yeah, it looks like the second secondary getting absolutely worked. Uh, Creep Colony trying to go up. The secondary is completely nothing to defend it. Uh, Vodkos in the meantime looks like, yeah, he's just going to go up and we'll see if they both decide to crash and just end it here. Another expansion going up to the 12 o'clock position uh, with the Nexus and we'll see if it uh, doesn't look like Atomic's up to, or I'm sorry, Mosk is up to anything clever in the meantime. He's trying to range upgrade. His mind, his main is completely mined out, only relying on the secondary and just, I don't know if he has enough minerals really to help out at this point. Like I was saying, economic victories uh, going for the long term really spelling out the difference here. 13 out of 27 supply, relying completely on static defense, and against this huge grouping, uh, not a good sign. Just going to wait for these Mulos to take out these two creep colonies, and just going to flood with these rest of the units in. And there's nothing that, uh, yeah, there's absolutely nothing that Atomic can do. Uh, looks like Mosk, in the meantime, does have some ground forces. He's going to push out with what he has, with it, which is some Zealots, some Dragoons, and an Archon, try to defend against this. 
But uh, let's see if he caught up. Weapons 3, though, uh, versus Weapons 2. A single Overlord going to be caught in the meantime. And against a large amount of Dragoons that have the ramp advantage now. So we'll see if they decide to go back to the ramp. No, it didn't look like they managed to close that ramp. Uh, but a large amount of Dragoons uh, able to force. Good size Storm on the ramp uh, as those units. And really getting the full effect out of that. Let's see if he has a second size Storm on that Templar. It doesn't look like it. Uh, and they are going to be able to, yeah, stop these forces. Uh, additional with reinforcements. Looks like a Templar fork could get a size Storm off getting caught there on the open. And I think we're going to see GG here in just a second. As you can see, yeah, uh, the base completely... Uh, completely out in the open, completely, just nothing to defend it. 12 out of 25 supply. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Vodko's just doing his work with the Dragoon Force. Looks like he's sending in more Dragoons, and yeah, there goes Mosk. Uh, gonna GG, which was, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening. Once again, go check out starfeeder.com. So, StarCraft strategy going up 3-0 over reps.ru. Uh, so it's do or die for reps.ru this next game, and StarCraft strategy, we'll see if they can close it out with one more victory. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for listening.